Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. I'm going to be talking about grief this week, and it's something that I've spoken about before, but it's such a a topic that touches everyone's lives, that I feel that it's something that bears repeating again and possibly again and again. And I want to speak about it because I can speak about it from personal experience. I think up until my early 30s, I hadn't lost anyone in my family or even any close friends. I'd known people that had passed, but um, I hadn't known them. They, they hadn't been very close acquaintances. Um, but since then, um, I have lost a number of people. Um, different sort of closeness and things like that and I've known people who've lost people and it's it's a topic now that I feel that I have quite a lot of insight into and I suppose what I really want to speak about today in regards to grief is the acceptance of how each of us grieves. It was one thing um, in my early 30s the person that I lost was my little brother and watching my stepmom and my father lose their child is something that I think changed all of our lives, that of those people that, of us that were close to them. Um, but there are some good things that I've taken away from the experience or some things that I've learned that I deeply respect my father and my stepmother for. One of the things was that they both gave each other space to grieve how they wanted to grieve. Uh, my stepmother, and I'm gonna call her Vicky because calling her stepmother, it just, changes how I see her. I don't see her as a stepmother. She was always Vicky to me. So Vicky built a garden and she would spend a lot of time in the garden. She had her little rituals and things that she did that kept her connected to my brother Ben. Um, my father, on the other hand, found it too painful to even go into the garden. Um, I think he did from time to time, but very, very rarely. Um, it just wasn't his way of grieving. But what I admired most about them was the fact that my father allowed Vicky to grieve how she needed to grieve, and Vicky allowed my father to grieve how he needed to grieve. Neither of them made the other wrong. And I think this was incredibly powerful because so often when you hear of parents losing a child, that, that kind of loss within a family unit can rip that unit to pieces. But with us, we were very lucky because it actually brought us closer together. Um, we all understood from that moment forward that you can lose somebody who you dearly love in, in, a, in the blink of an eye and that it's so important to tell those that you love that you do love them, um, no matter how vulnerable you might feel in doing that, because it might be the very last time that you see them. But this time I actually really want to focus on what my stepmom, what Vicky and my father did. And I don't think they did it consciously. They're not those kind of people that sort of analyze their behavior and try to sort of do the right thing. It was just instinctive for them to respect each other and to respect each other's process. I think particularly with grieving, it can be, we can feel so wounded that we want to sort of lash out at the world. We want the world to feel grief the way we feel it. We think there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. And there isn't. There is no right way or wrong way to grieve. There is only the way that you can do it or the way that you do it. Either there are people that can help you with grief, grief counsellors, um, speaking to friends. There's many different ways to help you with grief, but there is no right way to grieve. <laughs> and that's quite a precise difference. And I think that that respect that Vicky and my dad had for each other was what actually drew them together, what actually gave them support of each other, was their understanding that they were both going through an incredible amount of pain. Um, I think it changed their lives. I don't think their lives were ever the same after that particular instant, incident. But the one thing that I do know is that they were stronger as a couple afterwards, which if you'd asked me before it all happened, I would never ever have guessed that that would have been the truth. Um, and I just really wanted to share with that with you, that if you're going through something and you feel you're being judged or you're judging someone else for how they're dealing with their own grief and their own loss, maybe try to be a little bit more understanding, to be a little bit more respectful and to allow that person to go through the process in their own way. Allow them the understanding that it's hard, that it is incredibly hard and there is no right way or wrong way to do it. And if you're being judged, maybe just listen to my words and understand that you are not wrong for doing it your way. 
You're not wrong for thinking of people or remembering them how you want to remember them. Um, and that just to give yourself love if no one else will. If you want to contact me for coaching or for any of my online courses, all the links are in the show notes below. So much love from me to you.